2021 might be over, but there were a lot of things that I didn't go over that I made in 2021, and I think now's the time to go over it. I started off the year working on Marsh's journey for a little bit and added some more stuff to that and updated it. And then I moved on to Ross Walker. I wanted to get a vertical slice. I'm a little disappointed with myself. I didn't get the slice done. Started off the year working on a solar system map, which allowed me to put a um, solar system on a screen in the game. It's actually rendering to a texture. And then on top of that texture, we're rendering UI. And then on that UI is then being re rendered in a material. It's, uh, it sounds unoptimized but it really it, it really is and it's only rendering it when you're using the screen so it's no big deal and it actually turned out I think pretty cool that led to the implementation of the, the gameplay ability system or gas and it was really cool like I really I really like using that system it took me about a month to gut everything out and put it back in and yeah I thought it was pretty cool quests got better they're now in the world and you can take one per planet that's the uh, concession I've made for, for now because I didn't, I don't want to have to try to figure out, you know, what if one quest overlaps another one. So you can do that. Bounties are now fully functional. You catch a bounty, you take them, trade them in, and it does a little animation. And it's, I think it looks kind of neat. And it, there's also a higher reward for to bringing them in alive versus dead. And then, on top of that, I've got over Christmas I actually implemented something I had worked on the quest tiers which is a set of quests that go along with a certain I guess it could be like a chapter Monster Hunter does it all the time and I really like the way it's segmented because you know I'm gonna do these quests they're gonna be kind of easy and then the next tier unlocks after completing kind of like a, a boss quest or an urgent quest and that's how this works and that's kind of how the story would go. You would have some important quests and some side quests. And it gives you the, the freedom of being able to do quests that you want to do when you want to do them. Some quests will be repeatable, some will not. You can have multiple quests going at the same time on each planet. And so that's how you would catch your bounties. And yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. Added a, a new enemy. He's not completely done yet. The Shotgunner. He's a robot enemy that, that shoots you with these shock blasts. He's more he's the first ranged enemy in the game, and there'll probably be more of those. Projectile based enemies versus raycast is gonna be better because you can actually dodge them. And I think raycast enemies feel cheap, like in certain games. So it makes sense. I mean you have to have them sometimes, but they, they don't feel good from like a player point of view. So I'm gonna try to avoid that. Yeah, there's been an overall just a ton of stuff. There's stuff on the back end, there's code that's been cleaned up, things that are being pulled together to be more cohesive, and it's it's really starting to come together I'm gonna work on like a demo or something because a for myself and B if you want to talk to a publisher or, or funding or any kind of thing like that you need to have a playable demo and that's something I, I don't have and I really want to send it to people like I want people to try it and just give me some feedback and, and have something to point out like like this is what I've been working on for all these years so so there you can, you can try that Hopefully, hopefully that'll be done this year. A um, some kind of demo. I would love to finish the game this year, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to turn out. And yeah. So let's let's see how 2022 goes. I know I missed a bunch of stuff probably with this, but I uh, I want to try to do more consistent devlogs. I don't know how that'll go. It's uh it's hard to do one unless you have something to show, and sometimes it's just like. I have wrote some code that did a very minor thing, or it seems like a minor thing, it's not visual, and a lot of times you probably want a more visual thing for a devlog, so that typically is the delay. Also I suck at just like remembering to edit the videos, so I have like tons of footage just just piling up and then I never edit. So that's, that's something I'd like to work on in 2022. I don't do New Year's resolutions, uh, like not for any reason other than I just don't. But I do, I do have some plans for this year that I'm going to try to inch into. I appreciate you. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you.